Hello, welcome to Making Photos. I'm Ian M. Butterfield, and welcome to my guided tour of my uh, photographic computing technology. I really need a better title than that. What I want to do in this video is just talk you through how my IT setup works. And it's a little bit unusual, and I hope it might inspire you to think about your own computer setup. The first thing to say is you're, you're probably very familiar with uh, seeing me sitting here behind my desk uh, with the, the computer screen here, uh, the brick wall behind me. Well, let me tell you, it's all a lie. This isn't what my setup really looks like. First of all, that brick wall, it's actually a green screen, but you knew that. and. My computer system, well, that's not my computer system. It just happens to be a monitor. If I turn around and talk into this camera, you can see where my computer is. It's a laptop sitting on a bracket uh, up here. I will talk you through the desk here, but I just want to explain a little bit. You might think it's strange that I work with a laptop. That's the only computer I use for all my photographic and video work. And I've chosen it because it's a very, very flexible system. And it means I only have one device to worry about, one machine to back up. I don't have to worry about copying data from one system to another, depending on where I'm working. Now, here in the studio, what you can see, this is my primary setup here. But I don't want to start by talking you through this setup, let me talk you through what is really my primary setup. And that is the computer system I have at home. It's the same laptop, but how I have it set up there is very, very different. Let's go over and I'll show you. So welcome to my home office. Let me talk you through the various bits of kit that I have here and how my setup works. And then I'll explain how it works in uh, other locations. So this is effectively the, the big setup. And the laptop you can see just over here uh, sits on one side. Connected to that is um, basically a docking station, a USB docking station, which powers uh, the monitors, or two of the monitors at least, and has various peripherals attached to it. Let me talk you through uh, what's connected to that hub. The most obvious thing are the, uh, the various screens, three monitors and the laptop screen itself, giving me a, a total of four screens to work on. Uh, you may ask, uh, why do I work with four screens? Well, uh, the sim very simple answer to it is, I haven't yet worked out how to get eight on there. <laughs> no, um, you can never have too much real estate in terms of screen. The main screen is this AOC one. It's the same resolution as my BenQ over here, but because it's physically larger, it's easier for me to read text on the screen and things like that. So, and how do I use them? Well, for example, here in Lightroom, I, if I'm working in the library module, I would have that over on uh, this screen and use the, uh, uh, the BenQ as my, uh, my secondary monitor. And then this little um, sharp monitor, um, which is really old, that just is a, a sort of almost a dumping ground. Um, it's where I can have anything else I want to monitor. So for example, uh, if I'm working, I want to keep an eye on what's going on on Facebook or uh, emails. I can push those onto that. Uh, still have my attention on here and, and work with that. If I'm in uh, DaVinci Resolve, then these two screens become my, my main um, screens the edit screen, the secondary screen, and that becomes my playback screen. So I've got a, a good view of uh, the video that I'm editing. Uh, the laptop screen really is a sort of dumping ground for 
Uh, Windows, I just want to keep a, an eye on. So, for example, if I'm in the process of uh, writing a DVD or running a backup, uh, I want those windows open. I want to be able to see them. So I just pop them on that screen so that they're there, but they're not directly in my view. So that's that's the monitors. What have I got connected as regards input devices? Well, obviously, uh, keyboard and mouse, but I've got a, a whole range of other uh, input input devices. Uh, going from the left here, uh, Shuttle Pro 2. Uh, this is a, a video edit input device where I've got various keys um, on there for uh, different actions such as play, forward, uh, I've got the, the jog shuttle wheel. It does actually do other things in uh, other applications. So you can see in Lightroom it changes the size of my thumbnails. Then the most valuable bit of kit um, in terms of uh, bang for buck as it say is my stream deck and I really like the stream deck I have it programmed for lots of different things and I'm going to do a video in the next couple of weeks about how I work in Lightroom I've spent a lot of time getting this working with Lightroom. I've actually had to write the code myself. I've, I've taken some shareware software and I've extensively modified it so that I can do things using this um, that really, really speeds up my, uh, my workflow in Lightroom. Uh, but I'll do a separate video all about that. Uh, one of the things I really like about the, um, the Stream Deck is that it auto changes depending on what's on display. So if I go over to uh, here, you can see now that the Stream Deck automatically flips over to having buttons uh, for Chrome so that I can then just press one of those to do to go to a different website. So I move back over to Lightroom and hey presto, the buttons change now to be ones which are appropriate for Lightroom and same with any other applications that, that I'm working with. So that's the Stream Deck. Next along is a, a Behringer uh, MIDI input device. Now this is uh, something I use with Lightroom. I only use it with Lightroom. It is possible to program it for, for other applications, but um, it, it's not quite so easy. There's a plugin for Lightroom and I can use this to control things like exposure, contrast and I've programmed it for various things I've got buttons which will do things as well again it's all about speeding up my workflow and I'll cover that uh, in a separate video about my workflow uh, within uh, within Lightroom so you can see how things um, how it really um, increases the speed at which I can get through uh, editing and processing images and next along, I've got a, a bamboo, uh, a Wacom bamboo graphics tablet. Uh, so I could use that if I'm wanting to do anything along those. I have it set up so that it goes across just the, the two main monitors uh, with that. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't use it that often. I'm, I like to feel I'm quite adept with the mouse, but sometimes when I'm in Photoshop, I find that's an easier uh, device to work with. I've got obviously speakers. Uh, behind here is a, a powered hub um, which connects everything together. It is important that it's a powered hub that's, uh, that's doing this uh, simply because of so many devices, the draw of power is too much. I've got a little unpowered one that you can just see here. And that, um, I use that just to connect to those peripherals that don't have a big power draw. So things like uh, the keyboard goes onto there, um, the um, uh, Shuffle Pro uh, goes onto it. Uh, something like the Stream Deck needs more power because it's got monitors behind it. So therefore that, um, uh, that goes into the, the main powered hub. Uh, going around, um, I've got Blu-ray and uh, DVD um, burners there. Uh, again, they're connected through to the, the docking station. And then behind me, if I just wheel back a little bit, 
and you can see here effectively my data store I've got four of these five disc uh, units uh, where I can just plug in uh, additional uh, hard disk drives uh, to uh, uh, to store all the images on and effectively they mirror each other uh, one is the the backup of the other uh, so that everything gets backed up yeah oh the mouse I just comment about that it's a gaming mouse now I don't really use all the functionality of it but I, I went for a gaming mouse because there are programmable keys on there and it was before I had the Stream Deck, so I, I used to have various keys programmed in there, but I, I did find I kept knocking them when I wasn't intending to. But I do like the feel uh, of it. It's nice, solid, uh, hard-wearing um, uh, input device. So that's the home setup. Let's head back to the studio and I will show you the setups uh, that I use there. Back here in the studio when I'm recording uh, training videos, this is the setup that I use. It's the green screen behind me, which I replace with the, uh, the classic uh, brick wall. But the technology I have here, it's my laptop, which I've brought from home, I carry around with me. But let me just tell you what I have connected to it here. First of all, we've got the monitor. Now, the monitor isn't a particularly high resolution one for computing power these days. It's uh, a 1080p monitor. Uh, it's not 2K like uh, uh, the monitors at home. Why do I keep it as a 1080p monitor? Because that's the size of the video that I record here for YouTube. So if I want to do a screen capture, then I know that this monitor is exactly the right size for my resultant video. So I can, at a flick of a switch, or the click of my fingers uh, with the power of editing, I can put whatever's on that screen either over my shoulder or I can fill the entire screen with it. And that gives me the, the ability to do demonstrations, as you will have seen on the channel. So what else do I have connected here? Well, obviously the laptop is, it's running OBS, which is open broadcasting software, which is what I use to uh, record everything. And I've got uh, a number of devices connected, um, dedicated keyboard and mouse, which live here at the studio. So I have to carry those around with me. I've got my Stream Deck device here and the Stream Deck device is here it's set up for controlling uh, OBS. I can change what I use it for. I can use it for other things as I've previously mentioned, but primarily here I use it for OBS. I often have the, uh, the, uh, the Shuttle Pro 2 connected here. And again, both of those devices I bring with me um, in my, my laptop bag. And that is because quite often I'll need to do little bits of video editing here. And the setup I've got here is sufficient to do that. Again, I'll use the, uh, the Stream Deck with some buttons configured for um, to help me with video editing and DaVinci uh, Resolve. What else do I have connected? Well, I've got my iPad connected. And with the iPad, I use a little bit of software called X-Display, which is the app that runs on here. On the uh, computer, I use a program called Splashtop Wired X-Display Agent. And when that's running and X-Display is running on uh, the iPad, it gives me an extra monitor uh, for my uh, uh, on the computer system. So effectively, I've got three screens. Now, it's a little bit laggy, uh, that display, but when I'm doing something like a live stream or anything that involves PowerPoints, I put them on there and I can capture that as an extra display um, uh, behind me so that I've got the PowerPoints over my shoulder. And you'll have seen that on many of my, uh, my previous videos. What else do I have connected? Well, 
the power supply that I use for the laptop is a duplicate of the one I have at home. Uh, that's because I kept forgetting to bring the one from home when I was coming here, or I'd leave the one here, leave it here when I was going back home again. So I've got a duplicate, so that can live here. I've also got connected uh, my uh, video camera uh, over there uh, with uh, a capture card connected into a powered hub around the back and again that just lives here i can take it away with me. i do actually have a duplicate which uh, lives in my video bag so that i can either connect a separate display or i can uh, do uh, video capture elsewhere microphones i've got as you can see head headset mic on which connects to the Rode Wireless Go. The other half of it is round there. But what other ways do I have the laptop configured? Well, if I've got a studio hire, I want to be able to carry on working, but in my office, which is next door. So I have a separate setup there. I also want to be able to use this as a tether station when I'm shooting in the studio. So first of all, let me show you the setup in the office, then I'll show you how I have it set up as a tether station. So come with me and uh, I'll show you in the office. So I've moved into the office. This is the setup I would use if I've got a studio hire and I need to just effectively wait in the office or work in the office for a few hours. Now it's a three monitor setup. Uh, I've moved the keyboard and mouse in from within the studio. The power supply I've moved in from the studio. Uh, Stream Deck and Shuffle uh, Pro 2 I would uh, typically bring with me because what I tend to do here is I tend to work in on Lightroom or work on video editing for which I would need um, both of those. Well, particularly the Stream Deck for, for both, uh, the Shuffle Pro if I was doing any video editing. Uh, the monitors on here, uh, to be perfectly honest, aren't the best monitors in the world. Uh, these are the, uh, uh, the cast-offs, to be perfectly honest with you. I've got a, an old um, Pro Light uh, monitor here. It's um, three by four aspect ratio, uh, quite low resolution on there but it's large enough for me to just throw onto it things which aren't uh, particularly important uh, such as the secondary display on Lightroom uh, can, can go on there uh, the menus for DaVinci can go on there uh, the main monitor that I use is actually an old TV it was my father-in-law's TV um, and I just uh, connect it up as a monitor there is one problem with it which is why there is a remote control here is that after a couple of hours it tries to go into standby and it puts a message on the screen and says oh you've not done anything for ages uh, shall I turn off uh, because it doesn't recognize the computer input as much so you just have to say no on there and it's good for a couple more hours so thus the uh, remote control there but the the idea is I'm just using old stuff to enable me to work here this is not my preferred work location. I've got the extra screen of the um, uh, the laptop there. So if I was doing work on DaVinci, this is what it would look like. My main screen here, uh, secondary display with menus and things over there, and the playback on the monitor. Uh, so I can work. I've got the uh, uh, the Shuffle Pro to be able to uh, move through and edit. And as you can see with the Stream Deck. I've got that customized for DaVinci. Uh, so it's quite, a, quite a, a reasonable place to actually work and do video editing. Um, if I need to listen to the video as, I, uh, uh, as I'm editing, I would simply connect um, my headphones onto the laptop. So that gives you an idea of how I work in the, uh, the office at the studio. But what about if I've got a shoot going on, how do I set this up for tethering? Well, let's go back into the studio and I'll show you. When I'm shooting in the studio, I have a different setup yet again. This time, the desk is moved from its central position here where you've seen it, across into the corner of the studio over there. That allows me to have 
plenty of space for, uh, uh, for shooting. It's not in the way of the area where my subjects and models are. So come over into the corner and I'll show you how I have the computer set up this time. This is actually quite a, a simple uh, setup. I've got obviously the laptop, it's sitting on the adjustable brackets that you saw when the, uh, the setup was in the middle of the room. Uh, the monitor, instead of having it at the side as I do for live streaming, I've moved it on its arm to this position and I can tilt that round so that if necessary, uh, anyone who I am photographing can see the images uh, from on set. Gives me that kind of flexibility. Uh, the laptop obviously on there, the speakers uh, down, at the, down here. If I want to play anything through there, any audio or checking any video playback. Uh, you'll notice, obviously keyboard and mouse, but you'll notice I haven't got things like the Stream Deck uh, or the, uh, the Shuffle Pro set up. Uh, why is that? Because, well, typically when I'm in um, tether mode, those aren't things I'm, I'm going to be using. I'm not here doing a long editing session. The one thing that is connected, of course, is uh, big orange cable. What's the big orange cable for? That's my tether cable. Camera goes on to the end of there. And that means that when I take a shot, it appears here on the screen for, for me to be able to review it and for me to be able to show it to the clients uh, as we're working. So that's the tether setup. I have got one other setup to show you, but that's not at home and it's not here. That's what I do when I'm traveling and staying in a hotel. So let's head over to a hotel and I'll show you that one. So here we are in a, a hotel room. Uh, the setup is pretty straightforward. The laptop and its screen, keyboard. I could use the trackpad, but uh, I always prefer using a mouse. So I have a, a small Logitech mouse, which I uh, keep in the bag uh, for such occasions. I like to have my multiple screens, as you've seen on the, uh, the previous setups. The way I've achieved it on here is I've got my iPad connected as a, a second screen using uh, splash top software on here connecting to X display on the iPad. And that just means I can move my mouse across. There is a bit of a lag with the, uh, uh, the, the display on the iPad. So I tend to use it just for secondary things or just pushing off notification windows and things like that that I need to keep to hand. I've got uh, my trusty Stream Deck uh, here and that instead of using the stand which you uh, will have seen, I just use the travel bag folded up uh, to act as a, something to rest it on. I've also got my my shuffle, um, uh, my shuffle Pro version two, uh, which if I'm doing any video editing while I'm away, uh, that's uh, invaluable. I wouldn't like to travel without it. Uh, now, uh, that's the setup, fairly straightforward. The one extra thing I need to talk about for for travel is these, and th these are just two example external disk drives that I carry with me. Typically they aren't connected. I um, use them more when I'm traveling and I'm away for any length of time. I'll use those as uh, temporary backups. So that if I'm copying a lot of images onto the laptop, I'm doing a lot of work on there and I feel I need to uh, make sure I've got duplicate, uh, duplicate copies. Now, uh, I can, I've can. i talked through this sort of travel uh, process before in, uh, in my live streams. So the, the video for that will be up on the screen up there. And have a look at why I use them, how I use them, just as temporary backups until I can get back to, uh, to base. So those are with me, along with the cable to connect to them. Well, I'm back from the hotel.
I hope this walkthrough of my IT setup has inspired you and caused you to uh, reevaluate and think about how you use computing power um, for your own photography work. Maybe some of the add-ons and devices I have connected uh, are things that you might want to consider uh, for yourself. Back to photography though, if you want to improve the types of photographs that you take, you need to watch the video that's on the, on the screen here or watch some of the videos in the playlist here. So until next time, thanks for watching. Keep making great photos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.